Okay. Help me communicate. I need your help communicating. I need your help communicating. Help me communicate. I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am rich, I am that bitch, I'm gonna go get that bag, and I'm not gonna take your shit. I need to be self-aware, can you help me? Can you help me be self-aware? I'm protected, well respected, I'm a queen, I'm a dream. May 29th. Today I made some French toast and it was really, really good. I wish I had more syrup though, I ran out and that was kind of annoying. I don't really know what to write so I guess my morning is... Yeah, it's okay, it's sunny. Yeah. So you started your spiritual journey. Now what? What do you tackle next? How do you journal? How do you script? What the fuck are crystals and how do you use them? There are so many different topics of spirituality that people discuss on YouTube and forget to just start right at the beginning for people who don't know what to do at all. And that's why I'm here. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I do a lot of different videos on many different topics. Sometimes I talk about spirituality, sometimes I do little skits, I get in my kitchen. I have it all on this channel, but today we're talking spirituality and I want to give you guys some advice on what to do once you've started your spiritual journey. Okay, so as you saw in the intro, We've all been there. <laughs> we have all been there. I was there. So many people I know have been through this whole process and you kind of forget where you start once you're already into the process. When people ask like, how did you start your spiritual journey? It's like hard to really remember how and when and why you started. So I want to just talk about the beginner basic shit to spirituality. Okay, so the first thing I want to start with is journaling. Journaling is so important. Like. I feel like journaling has changed my life and has helped me so much. But I know a lot of people are like, how do I even journal? I mean, it's hard because you pick up your journal, you pick up your pen and you're like, what do I write about? And you just start writing about like, today I went here and blah, 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 blah. I was so happy. And it's like, huh? Like, what is this doing for me? And like, you won't feel the effects and benefits of journaling like until a couple weeks in. If you really want to feel the effects, you're going to have to read back on your entries. But let me tell you how to journal. It's really easy. Think of journaling as a mind dump. You're literally taking your brain and you're putting it on paper. Whatever's in your brain, don't put pressure on yourself to make it interesting or deep or thoughtful or something. You just write down what's in your brain. For me, how I journal is I will write down how I feel. How did I feel when I woke up? Oh, I woke up and I was in a bad mood today. I was sad. I don't really know why I'm sad. I'm trying to figure that out, blah, 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 blah. Today I woke up, I was happy, blah, blah, blah. Yesterday was such a good day. Write about that, start with that. Then it'll start to trigger other things. Like, oh, like I spent money today. I feel like I shouldn't have spent money. And sometimes I, I, you know, I'm critical of my spending habits. Like start writing things like that. If you feel like that's not doing anything for you, that's totally valid. That's why the self-reflective questions will help and the introspective questions. Like start looking up journal prompts on Google. Ask yourself questions like, what makes me truly happy? What are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? What is my purpose in life? How do I feel when this happens? What triggers my jealousy? Why do I compare myself to others? Start asking reflective questions to yourself. Find them online. Find them in my book, Mindfulness Through the Stars by Ashley Flores. Find them on YouTube, on Google, and start asking yourself questions. 
if you guys want you need to let me know if you want this because if you don't i'm not gonna post it i can make a video where i like give 50 journal prompts Ooh, i can make a worksheet maybe i should make a worksheet where i give like 50 journal prompts i don't know let me know if that's something you want and i'll do it because i do that I, I create a lot of journal prompts and they all just stay in my journal so yeah journaling is something that people think is so much more than it is and it's literally just like emptying your mind onto paper also another thing is like what i've discovered is I like to use my new journal as more of a work-oriented goal-setting place and now my thoughts go into a Word document because sometimes I get lazy to write about what I'm feeling and thinking because my hand starts to cramp up and I'm just like, yo, like, do I really need to write this down? Word documents. I created just like a folder in my computer for months and right now i'm in march of course and i'm just writing everything about myself i'm already five pages in and it's day two like when you type a lot more comes out so try that out so that's journaling for you okay the next thing i want to talk about is crystal healing crystal healing right here i have labadure and aquamarine two of my favorites i just found this one it's been lost for like two years and of course it popped up right when i needed it of course so crystals where do i start i always say this if you're new to crystals, you need to go to a crystal shop in person. I hope it's open around you. Mine just opened up in Toronto like last week and you need to go to a store and this is what you do. You're gonna walk around the store and you're gonna just bring in the energy and you're gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna walk in and I'm gonna find something that's meant for me. Whatever attracts you, don't look at the meaning right away. Look at what attracts you. Ooh, shiny, blue, pretty, I like that. Go pick it up and see how you feel. Hold it in your hand and see like, do you like this piece? Do I like this piece? That one stands out to me. Just start picking apart like what stands out to you. Once you've chosen some, go get the little papers with a little meaning on them and read it and see how you feel about the meaning. Does it resonate? Do you feel like you need this in your life? You look at it and it says, oh, this one increases self-awareness, helps you get introspective, helps with shadow work, helps with internal healing. Is that something you need? Cool, buy it. Once you do that, how do you use them? You might be asking, okay, I'll tell you how I use them. So the way that I use them when I first started is I would buy necklaces. I would buy jade necklace. I would buy rose quartz necklace because it said like attracts love, harmony, loving relationships. And so I'd wear it around my neck. And then I would just let that do the work for me. I would start realizing like, oh my God, all these people are reaching out to me. Oh my God, I'm like meeting a lot of new people. I've made new meaningful relationships. Like this guy's been interested in me out of nowhere. Like. I'd be like, what? This thing is like magic. And I would just keep using it. Wear it, just wear them. Find bracelets, find jewelry, find rings, and just see how your life starts to change while you have these on you. Then you can start buying like these types and like putting them on your nightstand, putting them on your window, putting them in your car, and just see how you feel about it. Um, what I like to do is I always like to have my amethyst with me, um, ignore my ugly bandaid. I like to have my amethyst with me and put it in my pocket. I used to, when I wore bras, I don't wear bras anymore when I used to, I used to put them in my bra. I would put them in my pocket. I would hold on to them like to calm me down. If I'm out and I'm getting anxious, I would just hold my amethyst and like let it like calm me down. Like let it either remind me to calm down or truly feel the benefits of it. That would really help me. So you'll start to feel that in your life. If you wanna just feel the energy of the crystals, then I suggest finding a guided meditation on YouTube and taking the crystal that you have, figuring out which chakra it aligns to. For example, amethyst is aligned to your crown or your third eye. Put it there while you meditate and let yourself feel the energy. I'm telling you, you will feel it tingling. You will feel it like just getting like, you'll feel the energy. Like I put, whoop, I just dropped one. I put um, aquamarine on my throat chakra today when I was meditating in the morning and I, it literally felt like it was like healing. I don't even know how to describe it. It's some strong shit. So just let yourself get in that zone and reap the benefits of the crystals and you're gonna feel it, you're gonna feel it. Close your eyes and hold it in your hand and let yourself feel like the tingling and the sensation you get. Like it, it truly is energy. Like if you think about it, like magnets are of the earth. Magnets are from literally the earth and they have so much power. Like magnets can snap together and you know repel each other and all these things and that's energy so why are people so willing to believe it in that type of energy but they won't believe in this type of energy like give it a chance and see how it helps and you will find that it, it really does something energy cleansing okay so i want to talk about energy cleansing because people don't really know what to do they're very confused on like how is waving around some sage going to do anything 
I don't want to speak on sage because I do understand that it's part of Native American traditions and I don't feel like I'm in the right place to like educate on that. Do I use it? Yes, I do. I use it respectfully. I've learned how to use it, but I just, anyways, I don't want to talk about that. But what I'm saying about like other cleansing methods, you could probably apply with sage as well, but um, it's up to you. It's up to you. So I'm going to use incense as an example. Or there's Palo Santo, which is my favorite. This is my favorite thing ever. Palo Santo is, oh, it smells so good. And the smoke is so like strong and clear and amazing. Oh my God. Okay. So pretend this is Palo Santo, sage, um, whatever you want to call it, right? This is incense. So what I do when I'm energy cleansing is I open the window because you can't be releasing the energy to freaking do circles around your room. Like it needs to leave, it needs to exit. So I open the window, I open the door, whatever. And I close my eyes and I take a breath and I contact my angels, my spirit guides. I say, angels, spirit guides, universe, God. Like I literally talk to them all and I just say, please release all the energy that no longer serves me and invite in new abundant energy into my space. Like please release this energy. And I just keep saying, release the energy that no longer serves me. What I do is I do a clockwise circle around my body, which is kind of hard, but I do that. And then I just kind of like wave it around through here. I breathe in, I breathe out. I think about what I'm releasing and I envision what I'm trying to bring forth into my space, into my body. And then I go around the room clockwise and I bring the smoke around the room. And I imagine that the smoke is clearing and cleansing the whole space and I like go up, down, I move around the room in a clockwise motion, wall to wall to wall to wall to wall and then I bring it back and then like I go by the window, I usually start at the window and I just kind of like go like that with my hands with the smoke and I close my eyes and imagine that it's all just leaving through the window, like everything's leaving out the window. I want to emphasize using the words releasing the energy that no longer serves me as opposed to releasing negative energy releasing bad energy because the law of attraction just listens to what you say and if you're saying bad energy negative energy bad energy that's kind of what you're putting into the world like you're speaking that into existence even though you're saying you want to release it you're still using the words bad energy negative energy and like the more you can avoid using words like that the better so i just say releasing energy that no longer serves me because i believe that the universe will give me what belongs to me and what is for me, it won't give me what no longer serves me, therefore I can release it. Meditation. Whew, this one's like, people I think overthink meditation. Meditation is so important to my practice and my routines. I feel like it really, really, really helps me out because Lord, I overthink like crazy. My mind is a, is a chaotic mess. Like it really, it really is. So. Meditation, how do you meditate? The whole point of meditation is to just let yourself be and try and free your thoughts, but don't judge your thoughts, just let them pass. So for example, if you're closing your eyes and you're meditating, right? I think focusing on breath work is very important. I like to breathe in for four. One, two, three, four, release, and continue doing that and just focus on the counting. Just focus on the one, two, three, four, doing it again, doing it again, one, two, three, four, and just the more you focus on your breathing, the less you will be attached to the thoughts in your brain. So you focus on your breathing, whatever, whatever, right? Sometimes it's hard for people because when you think about breathing too much, you're like, I can't breathe anymore, and that gets annoying. So if you can't focus on breathing, put on a sound or focus on a sound. Are there birds chirping? Focus on the chirping. Is your fan humming? Focus on your fan making the noise. Do you have something playing? I like to play singing bowls. I focus on the singing bowls and imagine them like spinning around my brain. So, because the audio is left to right speaker, right? So I spin around in my brain and my head. Um, focus on that and you're gonna get itchy. You're gonna have a thought. You're gonna be like, oh my God, like that was such a fun day. Oh, this is this, this is it. You're gonna have so many thoughts. Don't judge yourself. Don't get frustrated with yourself for having these thoughts. Like you're a human being, you're gonna have thoughts. The whole point is, yeah, think about it for half a second. Let the thought pass. Imagine yourself on a sailboat and there's like, you know, like a fish in the ocean and the fish just passes by and then you don't see it again. Those are your thoughts. Just let them pass by and let them go. And maybe you'll have another thought in three seconds and just do the same thing. 
And the more often you meditate, you're going to find that it's easier for you to let the thoughts pass. And you're also going to find that you're having less and less of them. You're going to be having an easier time focusing on the singing bowl or whatever. And eventually you're going to reach a state of like nothingness where you're literally just being and you're just there and your body's tingling and you're feeling euphoric and your whole mind is like, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it's literally like an altered state of reality. Like it's a really beautiful experience where you just feel nothingness you feel like your body has no weight to it you feel like your mind is blank you feel you feel good you feel really good and you'll get there but you just got to be patient with yourself and understand like you're missing the whole point of meditation if you're just trying to focus on doing it right just no one's in your brain no one's with you this is your private time just take it for what it is and enjoy it affirmations i love affirmations the first time i did affirmations i cringed the second time I did them, I cried. So affirmations are things like, I am beautiful, I am smart, I am the woman of my dreams, I am healthy, I attract abundance into my life, I am a money magnet. Those are some examples of affirmations. Affirmations are affirmative words that you're trying to invite into your life by saying them out loud. So you're claiming it, you're speaking it into existence. You are beautiful, you are smart, you are a money magnet. The more you say these things, the more will come to your reality. So affirmations are important because not only are you affirming it to yourself, not even in a spiritual way, just saying it out loud. Like the more you hear something, the more you're going to believe it. But also you're giving the universe that energy spiritually and the universe gives you back what you give it. So there's just so many benefits to affirmations. The first time I did it, I was looking in the mirror and I was like, I'm beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> and I was like, okay yeah i'm beautiful like i felt so weird i felt like i was lying to myself well not the beautiful one because i do think i'm beautiful let's come up with another one <laughs> i was like i am enough that's one that i was like bitch you're not enough i was like i am enough i am enough and i was like cringing because i was like oh my god this feels so weird i'm talking to myself in ways that i haven't and like it just felt weird and then the second time i got really into it and i got really emotional and i felt it i was like oh my god like i am enough i am this i am that I don't know what happened that day, but those affirmations really hit me on that second day and I was crying and I was like, damn, I need to say this to myself more often. It was like a really emotional experience for me. This, this was like 20, 2018, I think. And I was like really emotional over it in a good way. I was like crying tears of happiness. It was so strange. Anyways, it's going to feel weird. It's going to be cringy. It's going to be, you're going to be embarrassed. Like if people are around, like you can whisper it. You can whisper it if you want, you can say it in your head, you can say it while you're walking to the bus stop, you can say it in your car while it's warming up, like, you don't have to be in your room in the morning, like, drinking a cup of green tea, like, you are beautiful and smart and rich, like, it doesn't have to be a whole routine ritual ceremony. Does it help? Yeah, but, like, it doesn't have to be that way. Sometimes when I was going to school, I didn't have time to fucking sit in the mirror and say affirmations, but I did have four minutes when I warmed my car up, so I would look in my little mirror and I would be like, you're beautiful, you're gonna have a great day, blah, 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 blah. You can say you are, you can say I am, doesn't matter. Whatever you choose, affirmations are going to help you. Scripting. Okay, so scripting, if you're new to your spiritual journey, you might not know about it because it took me a minute to find out what it was. Scripting is pretty much writing out your dream life as if it already is to manifest it into your life quicker. Let me give you an example. So let's say you want a Mercedes Benz and a nice condo okay so what you would do you're probably thinking okay you're journaling what you want you're scripting you'd be like i want a mercedes benz and a nice condo period no you are affirming it as if it already is as if you had these things already these are already yours they already made their way to you like you know so this is how you would script that i'm so happy and so grateful key words there what are you feeling? What's the energy that you're feeling? Whatever you would feel, you're gonna make sure to make that clear. I'm so happy, I'm so grateful and so thankful that I finally got my 2021 white Mercedes Benz with red leather interior and red calipers on the wheels. I'm so grateful to the universe and God that I finally have my dream car. I picked it up last week. I'm so excited. It drives like a dream and I can't wait to pick all my friends up in my new car. I also am very grateful that I get to park it in my brand new 
parking spot that I got underground at my new luxury condo in downtown Toronto. I've always wanted to live on Queen West, so this feels like a dream. I'm so excited that I finally get to live the life of my dreams. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. I'm so happy I made this all happen. I just came up with that off the top of my head. <laughs> that is scripting. If you have questions, let me know. I think I made it pretty clear. Scripting is a manifestation technique and it really just speeds up your manifestations. I need to start scripting again. It's really good when you do it like a couple times a week. Every day is like the best way to do it. But if you do it like a couple times a week, once a week, just whenever you can, scripting is really, really, really helpful. So, all right guys, so that was my second video on spirituality. My first one was more of an introductory video. Now this is like, okay, we're spiritual now, we're cool, we're open-minded, what next? And I hope that I gave you some tips on what next. And if you want like another part to this and you want to get even deeper and like shadow work, healing, like past life, all that stuff, let me know. We can make it happen. You just gotta give me the questions that you have because that will help me know how to go about the video and what you guys wanna hear. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. And please, please, please engage with my content. It really helps me out. I feel like people don't really comment on my stuff. Um, I don't know why. I think because I never ask you guys questions, things like that. So where are you in your spiritual journey and where do you wanna be? Let me know and hopefully I can help you make it happen. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like my skit. <laughs> okay, bye.